I think it's time to start drawing on our screen. So if we open our animation activity layout class, the layout class that's taking care of our drawing, we've already set the background as the checkered pattern of a chessboard in the previous tutorial. Well, if you're going to draw or paint, we're going to need paintbrush. So in Android, you'd say paint, and we can define some paintbrushes. So let's import that class. I'm going to name them with obvious names, which will help us later. So I'm going to say, at first, I want a red paintbrush. And I want it to fill whatever it's drawing, like a rectangle or a circle, maybe. And we can do this also for the color blue and green. These paintbrushes aren't active yet. I'm just creating the names. We may also want to just stroke the lines. So just draw the outline of a rectangle or a circle. So for that job, I'll create these paintbrushes. So a red paintbrush that strokes, a blue paintbrush that strokes, and a green paintbrush that strokes. So how do you arm your paintbrushes? Well, we're going to have to override a method that exists in the view class. So if you go to code, override methods, and select on draw. This is the method that's going to be drawing to your screen canvas area. Within here, we can start dipping our paintbrushes into paint pots. So we'll take a red paintbrush and we'll say that equals a new paint object. We also want that paintbrush to have a color. And we're going to set the color to red, just as the name we've given it. Oh, we have to import that. And finally, we have to state the style of the paintbrush. And we've named it fill. So we'll set the style to fill. So this paintbrush is ready. It's ready to be used to paint any object that we might want. To save time, here are the rest of our brushes. So we've created our blue and green paint brushes. In exactly the same way, you can prepare your stroke stroking paintbrush, except at the stage when you define the style, mention it as a stroke style. Plus you also have to set the stroke width, the width of the line that you're going to be stroking with. Well, now that we've got our paint brushes ready, we're ready to draw. So let's do a rectangle. So in Android, you can create a rectangle and I'm going to call it rectangle Oh, we have to import the rectangle class, so Alt and Enter. I'm going to call it Rectangle 001, and it's a new rectangle. You need to set its dimensions. So we're going to set it to the coordinates 210, 125, 250, 175. In Android, the top left of your screen is 0, 0. And as you go to the right, your X value increases. And as you go down, well, I'll show you on the screen when we've run this. And that, that's what I'm doing here with a rectangle. I'm setting the top left corner and the bottom right corner. The final step is just to draw it onto the canvas. Draw rect. And then we feed it in our rectangle. And then we can pick a, a paintbrush. So we've got our rectangle coordinates and I'm going to use the green paintbrush and I think I'll just stroke the outline. That is it. That is how easy it is to stroke and draw something onto the screen. Let's save this and run it. Here's our application. Let's hit the animation and here we go. There is our rectangle. So here's the green rectangle. It's 210 pixels right and 125 down for the top left corner. And the bottom right is 250 across and 175 down. Pretty exciting stuff, I know. And we'll continue drawing in the next tutorial.